Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you didn't know, my name is Stella Garcia and um, I had a BBL two months ago, so I'm two months post-op. Um, if you guys saw my first video, I did say I was going to do a follow-up video, so this is it. Um, where am I going to start? So, okay, it's been everything's been really hard for me. Um, with the sleeping and putting on the faja every morning and sleeping with the faja at night, you know, it's been really a struggle for me. Um, but it's, it's really worth it. My body's coming out nice. I finally found the right faja. And you guys, this is really, really important. Your fajas are like one of the most important things um, for post-op care. So I'm going to show you guys what faja um, I used and how I got it. So first of all, um, they're called contour fajas. Um, I found them on Instagram. And I hit them up. They don't have any contour fajas here where I stay. I'm, I'm in California, in Northern California. And um, they only have spots, I think, in Miami or L.A. or something like that. Or, you know, some states that I'm not, that I don't live at. So, I ordered it and they're made to fit. So, they couldn't fit me. So, what, what they had someone do is FaceTime me and um, had me take my measurements. So, I took my measurements, you know, with just like a string, or not a string, a uh, tape measure, whatever this is called. And I did it virtually, so they FaceTimed me and they had me do it virtually. My my boyfriend actually um, did the measurements for me, um, which made it easier. And then, um, I liked how it came packaged. So, so, everything was measured to fit, um, you know, it, it came in a little package, like that. Which I like because I'm all about packaging. And then let me just show you guys how good it looks. Okay, so. I didn't get my boobs done, but my boobs look good, don't they? Anyways, this is the Faja. And I have the ab board in. So my stomach doesn't look as flat as it really is. But this helps it flatten out. And there's my butt. My butt. Everything looks better in person, you guys. But there's my booty. And I just love how it hugs everything, how it shapes it. Um, the only thing about um, this faja is that it's really tight. Um, like in the middle so it's so hard to get into it in the beginning like when like it really presses on your butt and it scared me at first because I was like no my butt's getting squished you know but um I researched it and it's okay for it to be squished a little bit through like in that little moment when you're pushing up the faja and um thank god I could sit down now I couldn't sit down I didn't sit down for like seven weeks I know the doctor told me to not sit down for at least four weeks and I went overboard like I was taking extra care of my ass because I'm already small as it is and I didn't have that much fat so I didn't have that much fat injected in my butt and so any little fat that I that I could make survive I wanted it to survive so I was being really anal about my anal so um Anyways, uh, I look good. I'm not swollen anymore at all. The only thing that really got on my nerves is, so, um, I was going to go out somewhere and I was tired of my nails looking like shit. So I went to go get my nails done right at the four weeks where I could kind of sit down. And I got my nails done and um, I couldn't put on my faja with my nails. My mom couldn't help me. No one could help me. It was just all bad. I had to find another faja. Um, and I was still putting the foams in. I'm not putting the foams in anymore. But I was still putting the foams in at that time. So that's kind of when I stopped putting the foams in. I, I think it messed with, um, you know, my post-op. Because I couldn't have it as tight anymore. Because I couldn't tighten it. Because of my nails. But I had to have my nails. You know how we are. Um, but now that I got this faja, I don't struggle as much and like I could do it with my nails and it looks really good under clothes. It looks so good. So 
I would suggest you guys to get your Faja from Contour Fajas. I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. And that's basically it. Like, I've been taking care of myself to that extent. I mean, I can't work out yet. They, uh, I got my surgery done at Jolie Plastic Surgery in Miami. And they actually called me right at the two-month mark, which was like two days ago. And just to check up on me. And I let them know, um, like, how I was doing. And I told them that I was sleeping without the faja because I thought it was okay. And they said, no, you have to have the faja on at all times and whatnot so um so i've been starting to do that again because i started sleeping without my faja like six weeks post up but i don't i think it's gonna be okay i don't think it's that serious um but yeah anyways that's all for me and i hope you guys got some good information from this video and remember to subscribe because i'm gonna do more videos like this and also if you guys like my makeup um, I am going to do um, a product video on what makeup products I use. And I'm also going to do a review on clothes and things like that. So I hope you guys enjoy them. And alright, have a good day.